phone calls now about what we were talking about before the break as far as uh, what is Christy Clark's uh, If the Honeymoon is Over for the Premier. And uh, we'll go to uh, Joe now from Langley. Joe, uh, you seem to think that uh, she's doing a good job. Uh, yes, I do. I, I, I admire Mr. Shrek for saying that he wants the province to do well, and I appreciate that as a BC Lib. I follow him on Twitter as well as Elise Mills, who gets uh, over twice as many followers. But uh, I... We're going to go to the phone lines again now. We've got Elizabeth from Victoria. And uh, what did you want to talk about? Hi, I just um, wanted to say, uh, Marcello, that I think you could get a better um, uh, left, lefty than David Shrek. He, I'm so tired of listening to his voice. Day, week after week after week after week. Can you not get someone else on to show to give the other side? Well, you're entitled to your opinion, but we've had uh, David on on the show uh, several several times, and I know uh, from listening to him with uh, Sean Leslie, he's always very well versed in his comments. And uh, we had Elise Mills on yesterday, and and I'm happy that he's uh, taking time on the sat or Sunday afternoon to to join us with his thoughts. So, David, back to you. Uh, is, you're not you don't have a fan in in Victoria there. Well, I, I've been doing this on one show or the other on NW for over 10 years now. I, I, I'm sorry that the listener's uh, radio is broken and the <laughs> dial is stuck on NW, but that's probably a good thing. Keep listening to NW whether you like me or not. <laughs> I really admire Premier Christy Court because she is not into the Elise Mills, Kevin Falcon, Mary Pollack school of the long ball. She's into doing little things like cancer coverage for firefighters, hydrogen fuel, so we're not dependent on big oil, but uh, our own resources in the Northwest are going out and supporting logging. I mean, Christy Clark's really into the small ball, you know, just make a little change here, a little change there, and, and, and stitch, stitch, stitch but, but together. Do you think she's shooting herself in the foot, though, when she says one thing about the gas tax one day and then changes her mind two days later? Well, I, I, to be honest, uh, I'm Christy Cork fan on Twitter, and I don't necessarily think that was the wisest of ideas. I don't think Elise Mills, who is buying for the best pundit in the world, would have done something like that. <laughs> I don't think I would have done it either, but, uh, you know, that's okay. The Premier is the right to change your mind. That's why she's the Premier. New information must have came forward. Okay, Joe, thank you for your thoughts. So, Dave... Hey, 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 hey,